Fencing students practice their advance, lunge, and parry. But this isn't an ordinary fencing class. These students are either legally blind or visually impaired. At the Carroll Center for the Blind in Newton, Massachusetts, fencing is a required class in the school's curriculum, and it has been for over 50 years. When a student is learning how to fence, they are learning how to move their body forwards and backwards. So they learn how to maintain balance. So how to walk in a straight line, for example, which is difficult to do if you're blind. All students are required to wear blindfolds during the class. Some of the people in our class are totally blind. Others of us have some visual acuity. And so it's leveling the playing field with our partner. When the two visually impaired fencers get ready to fence, we take their weapons, we put the weapons together. They hear the other blade. Now they know where both fencers are. They need to rely on their listening skills to find the other person. When I'm fencing against uh, somebody, then I, I use my hearing to know where they are, how far they are, and how close they are. For the visually impaired, fencing also has psychological benefits. When we have, one of the things that I, uh, I find when I, you know, I find when I start teaching visually impaired people is that when they come to the classes, they have lost not only their vision, but their uh, confidence. I can now go home and put into my own life just being able to move more confidently in everything I do. If you have somebody in front of you that has a weapon, right, and you're blindfolded, then I'd say the only option you have is to trust your instructor and in believing that they don't want something bad to happen to you. So I'd say that's another skill fencing has taught me and many others, is to trust. We'd like to introduce them to activities that they may never have thought a person with a visual impairment would be able to do. So fencing, for example, we often get a reaction from new students of, are you kidding? I'm going to have to do fencing. But they soon come to see that it is very possible for someone who is blind with a few adaptations to fence quite successfully. It reminds us, as a visually impaired person, that we still can be physical, that we still can get exercise and take part in something very competitive, whether it be going to work or just walking into a store. I feel like I have more confidence because of fencing.